engines on the island soil like to take special deliveries. One day, a dino fossil had been found at the miners near Vickerstown. Stepping was to take it to the museum. When an engine heard that Stepney was taking the fossa of the museum, they were impressed. What type of dinosaur is Stepney taking to the museum? asked Percy. I was told from Derek that's a T Rex, said Duck. I'm glad no one of those dinosaurs are around, replied Percy. I wouldn't dare want to be eaten by them. Don't worry, Comfort Thomas. They never ate trains, and it's a long time ago. All they eat is plants and meat. Percy felt her rebuffed The big engines, on the other hand, were thrilled that they didn't have to take any old onto the museum, especially a dino uh, a soul fossil. I'm too grand to pull something ancient that is old things, sniffed Gordon. Me too, added James. I'm glad is, is that the uh, engines were all too fine anyway. What toast? snorted Henry. Not all engines like are uh, so important. Don't forget to what happened the last time and you didn't and want to fetch your own coaches, said Thomas. Oh, please don't remind us of James. The engines paid no attention. For the rest of the day, they were was soon busy at work. Thomas thinking about Stepney at the, the fossil you know, all day. He remembered when Stepney visited the island so long ago and took a special train after one of the passengers were left behind. At Natford, the Facature had contacted all the engines. Stepney has ran out of water and is stuck in a, on Gordon's hill, he said. He needs help at once. James had gone and walked away. No point. It makes me point that old rubbish Stepney's taking. Huff Gordon. Me neither, added James. That old rubbish is too injured for me to push. Thomas has heard this and he wanted to help. Can I help, sir? He said. And ancient things like dinosaurs and fossils are important after all. Thank you, Thomas, said the top of her. I appreciate it. It's when my engines are really useful. And he gave the as a stern look at the big engines. Poor Gordon and James looked at their buffers in shame. Thomas soon set off to go and rescue Stepney. He soon found Stepney up the hill. Don't worry, he called. I'll get you the fossil to the museum as quickly as possible. Stepney smiled. I need to help all, all the help I can get, he said. 
Thomas soon bumped up to the freight car and pushed and pushed as hard as he, as he could. We could do it, said Stepney. We will do it, replied Thomas. At last they reached to the top and when and they were way to the museum, Thomas was tired and he made one more big effort. At last, exhausted by trying bit, he arrived at the museum. Well done, Thomas, said Edward, as he saw everything. You arrived just in time. Indeed you have, said a well-known voice. It was the Fat Controller. Thomas? You have, have made it to the, the museum just in time and makes you a real useful engine. Thank you, sir, said Thomas. As soon as the fossil was taken off the freight cars, a photographer took a picture of it. The fact and sure were Thomas and Stepney.